Cubase 6 was designed to run on Mac OS 10.6 or Snow Leopard. Cubase 6 can be run in either 32-bit mode or 64-bit mode. But what's the difference? Well, first of all, let's find out how much memory you have in your Mac. So we're going to go under the Apple pull-down menu and select About This Mac. That will open up this screen, and right here you can see exactly how much RAM memory your Macintosh has. My particular Macintosh has 8 gigabytes of memory. Now, the reason that we needed to find out how much RAM your computer has is because the only difference between a 32-bit application and a 64-bit application is how much RAM memory the program itself can address inside of your computer. In 32-bit mode, an application can normally only access 3.5 gigabytes of RAM memory. But in 64-bit mode, an application can address beyond 3.5 gigabytes of RAM. So if your Mac has 4 gigabytes of RAM or less, I would say leave Cubase in 32-bit mode, because you won't be able to address any more than 3.5 gigabytes of RAM, and the Mac operating system is going to take up some of that RAM anyway. So you won't get any benefit at all from running Cubase in 32-bit mode. However, if your Macintosh has more than 4 gigabytes of RAM, like mine does, which is 8 gigabytes of RAM, then I would recommend that you run Cubase 6 in 64-bit mode so that you can access all that extra RAM. But for these tutorials, it won't matter one way or the other. You're going to be able to do all of the things in these tutorials by running in either 32-bit or 64-bit. And bear in mind that running in 64-bit will change a little bit of the operation of Cubase because there's still some things that Cubase 6 in 32-bit mode can do that Cubase 6 in 64-bit cannot. But that list is getting shorter and shorter. So just bear in mind that you won't need to change the 32-bit or 64-bit operation of Cubase to use these tutorials. But here's how you do it. Go under your Go pull-down menu, select Applications, and then locate your Cubase 6 icon. Then single click on the icon and click Command and I. That will reveal the Cubase 6 info window. And you'll see that in the middle of the window here, there's an option to open Cubase in 32-bit mode, which is enabled by default. So when you first install Cubase, it's set to run in 32-bit mode, which is the more compatible mode, but you won't be able to address beyond 3.5 gigabytes of RAM memory. So if you want to run Cubase in 64-bit mode, just disable that checkbox. And now when you open Cubase, it will load in 64-bit mode rather than 32. Now let me just reiterate, this only changes how much RAM the application itself can address. It doesn't have anything to do with how Cubase sounds or how it processes information. All it does is let you address beyond 3.5 gigabytes of RAM. And now that we know how to launch Cubase in either 32-bit or 64-bit mode, let's go ahead and launch Cubase for the first time.